Hello everyone, how are you doing? So today the weather is really nice here in Abu Dhabi. Oh my god, there is some sound there. It's really nice, I love it. You know, uh, I think there was uh, rain last night. I don't know if you can see around. Let me show you a bit of Abu Dhabi this morning. It's actually raining, like you can see the weather is different. It's actually 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Everyone is busy. It's Ramadan uh, season here. And so let's continue with uh, episode two of the things that I wish I knew before I travel abroad here. Yeah? So in the first episode, we talked of research. And if you have not checked that video, please go check it out in the link below. And then as we continue with the episode two, on addition to safety uh, of the place, I would say, please inform people, inform at least some few people before you travel, you know, for your own safety. You know, there is this mentality of people just traveling abroad secretly. They don't want people to know that they are traveling. <laughs> Actually, that was me because I didn't want anyone, you know, you got a visa, you are, you are doing, you know, your thing slowly underground, you don't want anyone to know. Yeah, it's good, but at least inform some, a few people, you know, anything can happen. Can you imagine, see, I, I was in Libya, if I had died, you know, my mom even didn't know that I was, tra I was in Libya, you know, because I remember, I lied to my mom that I was uh, going to the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi, I found another job because I was working, I had a good job, you know, and, uh, all the things, all my household stuff, you know, I put them in the truck and took them to my mom and told her, you know, I'm going to Nairobi, I found a good job. And you know, she was happy, you know. So I really didn't um, inform anyone. The only person who knew was my friend who hosted me in Nairobi. And, um, you know, I feel like uh, if anything could have happened, it could have been a different case, you know. Who was in a war zone? nobody knew that i was in libya okay later after i arrived there i called my family and you know, i informed them that i was in libya benghazi you know and they everyone was shocked like oh libya <laughs> naivety is so so bad please inform some few people if you don't want many people to know i know people you know don't want to share their plans which is good but at least have some few people tell two to three people close people you know those people who care about you just tell them you know give them even any information the city you're going you know in case of anything in case something happens they can be able to trace you you know so the second thing i would say it's very hard i wish someone had told me life abroad is very hard here you don't have any family you are very new maybe you don't have friends it's very difficult work itself is very hard i mean abroad i realize that you know you have to work extra hard sorry for the background noise some activities are taking place so i hope you can hear me so abroad life is very hard you have to work my friend whether you, if you are sick you go to the hospital unless it's your off day and uh, for example for me i'll tell you my experience uh when i was new i started with a house uh, house work as a house manager and i didn't have off day you know that kind of stuff work was very difficult i it reaches a point that i was almost giving up but you know, I'm not that kind of a person who gives up easily. So life was very difficult, you know. I, sometimes I used to cry, like, you know, I find myself crying, but you don't have anyone to cry to. Remember, you don't have any family members here. So you are by yourself. So you just have to be strong for yourself. Sometimes you want to cry, you want a shoulder to lean on. You don't have anyone. And so uh, I wish someone had really uh, even uh, told me like, life abroad is very hard. You have to be strong, <laughs> you know? Only that encouragement and uh, just that preparation to make you uh, prepared about what you are uh, about to expect. And I'm not talking only about the housework or any, I mean, any other job is very difficult, you know? 
So I just you just have to be very strong because um, if you have your family, you really it's really advantage for you. But uh, I'm talking for those people who don't have uh, family members here because friends comes and goes. Like you might be having friends, friends you can find friends everywhere. But the problem with, for example, UAE friends are never uh, permanent. Like you have made friends today tomorrow they are gone you start over again like it's like a circle you don't have permanent friends or maybe you move from one city to another like for example uh, for me i used to work in dubai and then now i am in abu dhabi that means environment change friends change you know that kind of stuff because uh here i need friends to hang out i need friends to talk to like every now and then because um daily uh, life is very difficult and I need people to be in my life at that particular time not like long distance uh, friendship so that kind of stuff so I feel like uh, if you are coming abroad especially I'm still talking to those people from the village uh, from the province please prepare psychologically that everyone is uh, struggling mentally emotionally everything so you just have to be strong for yourself no one feels pity for you you know so i wish someone had told me i didn't even know anyone who is abroad to even guide me another thing i would say is speak for yourself never keep quiet if something is going wrong you know that one actually i learned by myself because um there were some things that i didn't entertain and i really spoke for myself and it really worked out you know so if you feel uncomfortable please uh, speak for yourself for your own sake you know because no one will feel pity for you no one will understand you if you feel uncomfortable just speak up you know so when i say no one feels pity for you I mean it like no one cares about you. Let me tell you my experience. Uh, when I was working as a house manager, I didn't have off day. I didn't have uh, time to rest, even to eat well. I didn't have that and nobody cared about that, you know. So I used to work like almost 15 hours per day. And uh, where I used to sleep wasn't a very good place where, you know, uh, I would say I am abroad, I am sleeping well, you know, that kind of stuff. So that is when I realized, you know, things are really not working out. And I ended up changing my contract with that family because I wasn't comfortable. So those are the things that really uh, I'm trying to talk about because for, there's some people who doesn't know how life is abroad, especially in Gulf countries. Speak for, for yourself, don't keep quiet and just cry and, uh, and expect someone will really listen um, will assume you are, you are okay no you have to speak for yourself okay so i don't know if you can see it's actually starting to rain here at the park you can see <laughs> there is water dropping so i don't know it will be a big rain or but i'm enjoying anyway it's actually nice i'm having fun